taking care of your garden or mowing the lawn, it's that time of year when more people are outdoors staying active. For one Traverse City woman, being active is part of her everyday lifestyle. But when a heart condition took her energy away, she knew something was wrong. I worked with photojournalist Bob Rose to share her story in this month's Matters of the Heart. It's a daily routine for Betty Herkner Hardy of Traverse City, taking care of her farm that's been in her family for generations. 1907 is when my grandparents bought this farm. 1907. And then in 1940, my parents bought it from my grandparents. By 5.30, quarter to 6, I'm out either watering the lawn, my flowers. So it's pretty obvious she's an early riser who needs as much energy as possible. But back in 2003, an accident put everything in jeopardy. All of a sudden, the room started spinning. And bam, it was that quick. I couldn't even say, oh, I'm going to pass out or anything. It was so quick quick. At the time of her fall, Betty was working in the ER at Munson Medical Center, so her cardiologist immediately ran some tests. They thought I had like a cholesterol spike at that time because my cholesterol was a little bit high and they couldn't quite decide anything else special other than when they listened to my heart there was a little swish swish noise. So after all the tests they put me through, they sent me to a cardiologist and she did several tests the echocardiogram and the stress test. And that's when she discovered I had two leaky valves. And she said it's in the early stage, so we won't do anything about it now. We'll just kind of keep an eye on it. For the next few years, Betty went for regular echo and stress tests for her heart. But in 2009, something strange happened yet again. I was mowing. It normally takes me four hours. And it was after one hour of mowing, I was beat. I had to come in and sit down and rest. And I thought, that's not right. Something's not right here. So what, you know, I called the cardiologist and I said, I don't know what's going on, but I'm not normal. I can't function like I did before. Betty's cardiologist ran more tests on her and discovered her heart valves were now leaking severely and it was time for surgery. I said, how soon can you do it? <laughs> she said, well, I'll have to call Dr. Drake and see when he can get us scheduled. So she did. She got on the phone, called him. And he had me come in just within two or three days. And uh, when he got in doing my surgery, he could repair my valves by putting rings around them. After surgery and a lengthy recovery, Betty started going to Munson's cardiac rehab and continues to do so twice a week. She also keeps in close contact with her cardiologist and surgeon. I had another echo in March. He called me right back after he read the um, test and he said, your valves are beautiful. That was his words. Your valves are beautiful. So great. He said, but I would like you to come back once a year. Betty says the best part is she has her energy back and that's something she won't ever give up. I think I have more energy now since I've had my valve work than I did before when I try to think back. Anyway, I have so much energy now. It's just unbelievable. I wish I had her energy. Betty says although heart disease runs in her family, she says it comes down to simply listening to your body. She encourages all women to pay close attention to any changes in their energy levels or how they feel on a daily basis. For more information about heart disease and a direct link to Munson Medical Center, go to our website, upnorthlive.com. Such a wonderful woman. And Betty also said she is a loyal viewer of 704 News Today. Oh, yeah. She may be watching right now. If you are, Betty, good morning. She says she turns us on first thing, and then she goes out literally outside, starts mowing the lawn, watering everything. So a very active woman. Sure. And uh, she needs that energy, so she definitely was able to get everything checked out, and she's in good, healthy condition. We like so, to hear it. Definitely. Good story. And uh, Betty, good morning. If you're out there this morning.